Now to the latest bombshell in that prostitution scandal shaking up Maine. We're learning more about some prominent names on the client list, and we're hearing from the man accused of helping that Zumba instructor run the operation. ABC's John Schriffen is in Kennebunk, Maine with the latest. Good morning, John. George, good morning. Because of the initial confusion as to who was really on the list, the judge decided to release more information about the first 21 names. We now know their ages range from 34 to 65 and their home addresses. The majority live right here in Maine, one in New Hampshire, the other in Boston. But the most scandalous information coming from the man accused of screening those Johns. In a scathing statement overnight, 57-year-old Mark Strong, the man accused of booking clients in the unfolding prostitution scandal here, lashed out at investigators. Accusing the Kennebunk Police Department of retaliation and unprofessional conduct. I never had sex with Alexis Wright for money, Strong wrote in a statement. The charges against me are untrue. I will be vindicated in a jury trial. From what he says, he's a good guy caught up in a bad situation. Strong says he met Alexis Wright, the 29-year-old Zumba instructor accused of selling sex in her dance studio online, developed a personal relationship, and helped her start a legitimate business. Police say Strong helped run Wright's alleged side business and helped videotape her clients. But the 57-year-old insurance agent now says he's also a private investigator and that he began investigating Kennebunk police, he says, because the department was harassing Wright. The Kennebunk Police Department sees my computer, which contains multiple interviews of witnesses in that investigation, Strong writes. Overnight, police did not respond to the allegations. What do you have to say about the charges against you? I have no comment. Meantime, there is more fallout this morning from the release of some of Wright's more than 100 alleged clients, which reportedly include a lawyer, a forester, and a real estate appraiser. ABC News has confirmed 58-year-old James Soule the former 2008 mayor of nearby town South Portland, Maine, and seen here in a 2007 interview with the Boston Globe, is one of the 21 men with a misdemeanor soliciting charge. And Sol did not respond to our calls or answer his front door. Late Tuesday, his lawyer told the Portland Press Herald, quote, he obviously feels terrible about this. The biggest impact of this is on his family and friends. That's truly the most dreadful situation. George? I'll bet. Okay, John, thanks very much.